Hey guys, it's Finn, and welcome back to another Zinc Box update. If you guys remember, a long time ago, probably a couple months ago, I released the first episode of Zinc Box updates called Zinc Box Updates Number One. Well, now we're back with Zinc Box Updates Number Two. This is the second Zinc Box update, and uh, we've done a whole lot on Zinc Box. You could almost call this Zinc Box Version Two. So I'm gonna get right into them and hopefully show you guys everything that's been changed as fast as possible. So number one, the server icon. You can see we have a new sort of black and uh, orange and yellow server icon. I think it's a lot sleeker than the white one we had before. So let's join the server uh, for change number two. Immediately when you'll join, you'll notice we have a brand new hub as well. It looks very nice. You have our nice orange zinc box logo up there. I think it looks really nice. Uh, it's quite small, which I also like. And uh, you have easy access to all the games with these new NPCs we added. As you can see, we have factions and we have FFA. We have Skyblock Warriors and 1v1. Anyway, that's the new hub. Let's move on to the first thing that we changed, which is in FFA. We actually did the most changes to factions we have practically completely revamped factions at this point it's basically all new uh, so yeah tons of work went into factions uh, but we did do a few changes in FFA mainly we added a brand new FFA map and uh, we also have a new FFA spawn this area here that's being worked on um, but for now we have a brand new FFA map as well as the FFA stats have been reset uh, so let's hop into the FFA map the FFA map is called village and uh, it was created by team Veyron and uh, real Empire he's um, someone from the community who made this map for us and I really like how this map turns out i think it's really good for vp uh we still probably want to add a few things here and there but so far i think it's coming along really nice uh we've got some really cool buildings as you can see over there yeah there you go there's a giant building over there which looks really cool and uh yeah overall just a really nice map for pvping on uh you spawn on this sort of stump which i think looks pretty cool and uh, then there's a sort of emerald above it which i actually built because i thought it kind of add some flair to it so yeah that's the new map village as well as the stats reset on ffa let's move on to factions back in hub here again we can just right click on the factions npc and that'll bring us to factions here and immediately you'll see when we join factions we have a brand new faction spawn uh built by kinzio i believe his name is i don't quite know how to pronounce that uh but yeah this is a really nice faction spawn it's probably one of my favorite faction spawns i've ever seen uh, it's nice and small sort of keeping with that sort of you know small zinc box network feel that we have we don't have any giant huge open builds most of them are sort of small which i really like and also just like the hub we have these npcs when you first start out uh, there's one over here called zinc box warps which will bring you to all the different warps on factions and uh, another one over here which is zinc box ranks which will tell you all the different ranks that we have on factions and then lastly zinc box dimensions which brings you to the nether and the soon to come end i also want to announce in this video uh that the factions end will be opening on saturday so that should be two days from now if i get this video up on time uh it's gonna be opening on saturday i will announce a time on the zinc box forum so definitely check the zinc box forum so it'll be an official announcement saying what time and day the end will open so stay tuned for that moving on i want to show you guys some of the other features of spawn here uh if you go through here you'll see to the right we have this little village you'll find quite a few different villagers uh, they all do different things this guy here will repair your items if you right click on him you can see repair all items uh, it costs 10,000 bucks to repair your entire inventory, uh, which is a pretty good deal in my opinion. Next, we have zinc box tags. You can do slash tags to view your tags. And uh, as you can see, there's a few different tags here that you can purchase. And these are purchasable on the zinc box by craft. And uh, once you purchase them, you can do slash tags in game, like it says there, uh, to choose a tag. So I'm going to choose the zinc box tags right now. Do a quick test. And as you can see, I have the zinc box tag right there. So yeah, that's that addition. Moving on, we have a new kits menu that you can use by typing slash kits brings up this nice little menu uh, to select your kit. So this is the alloy kits that I have because I have the alloy rank. I thought it was a lot nicer of a way to get your kits as opposed to having to type out commands every time. So yeah, that's the zinc box kits. Moving on over here, we have a new wilderness villager, which will teleport you to a random place in the wilderness. This is really nice if you're first starting out with factions and you don't have to run super far. Um, so just give you a really big jump start. So you kind of teleport to somewhere random to start making your base, uh, which I think is really nice. What's new in factions? These are some of the new things that we've added. We've added a new trading plugin uh, where you can do slash trade and then someone's name let's trade with uh i buy potato slash trade i buy potato there you go he's accepted the trade and now we can open up the menu here and uh put this put some things in so i'm gonna put in some steak there to trade with him and that will ask him to trade it so i'm just gonna confirm this anyway and give him some free cooked food i'm gonna confirm there you go i've given him some food for free if he had put anything in there i would have gotten that back uh, but instead i just ended up giving him some steak for free so you're welcome all right the next thing is tags as you can see i've shown that off already we've added the tags in chat and uh, you can also get your own custom tags we're gonna be doing kind of a 
giveaway for that. So stay tuned for the next video where I'm going to be doing that. The next thing is Easy Enchant. Easy Enchant is a really cool thing that we've added to this uh, because some people are having issues with the 1.8 Enchant system. So now if you're a donor on the server, you can simply right click an enchanted book onto your item to enchant it. So let's pretend this boat was my enchanted book. All you have to do is right click it onto your weapon like this and it will add it to it automatically. Um, so that's really cool. Oh, look, it's Kyle right here. Uh, this is a friend of mine. That's how the new Enchant system works. Um, I can't actually show it off right now because like I said, I don't have a book and I don't want to actually give myself one in factions because that would be kind of cheaty. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's how it works. If you are a donor, then you get access to that. Next up, the donor perks. Uh, you can actually stack potions if you're a donor now by typing slash stack and that'll stack the potions you have in your inventory. The other donor perk is if you have the alloy rank, you actually don't need levels to do that combining like I was showing here with the easy enchant. You don't need any levels to do that, which is pretty cool. Next, we've also added jelly legs. You can purchase on the store, uh, which will basically remove any fall damage that you take in the normal world, uh, which is really handy if you are, you know, doing parkour or if you're just trying to build your base and you don't want to have to take damage. The last thing I want to show you guys on factions before I get into the new factions maps is the new zinc box boxes, I guess you could say. Uh, basically, they work the same way as crates. Uh, we have an iron box here, and soon to come, we're going to be adding a diamond box and a gold box, which are going to be the different tiers of boxes. Uh, but for now, we have the iron box. Uh, basically, if you right click on the box, as you can see, it'll open up this nice menu, and this will go back and forth. And the animation is really cool. And there you go. I got 64 TNT common. Uh, so yeah, anyway, that's a common drop. So that's why I got it. Uh, this is mostly the kinds of things you'll be getting. Uh, but you can also win things like creeper eggs and ranks and all kinds of really cool stuff. That's basically all the main things that we've added to factions. Now let's move on to the new maps that we've added. For I click the zinc box warp sky right here, we can warp to the new shop. Uh, here we are in the new shop. Uh, this is a really cool build. Again, a very small, very orange, keeping with the zinc box theme. And uh, we've added a bunch of new stuff to shop. All you have to do is right click one of the item frames and it will bring up a little shop to where you can purchase either one of the item, 32 of the item, or a stack of the item. That goes the same for selling. And a new feature, you can sell all of your items by clicking this one. So let's say you're farming a bunch of reeds or iron from iron golems or whatever it is and you have a full inventory. Instead of having to click this over and over and over, you can merely just click this once and it will sell your entire inventory of that item yeah that's basically it for shop let's move on to the new arena so i'm just gonna type warp pvp in chat here that's gonna bring me to the new pvp arena and uh, this is probably my favorite thing of the new factions uh myself colomore and uh, the same person who built the spawn i uh, worked on this i think it's absolutely amazing i just love it uh, we have these giant walls with these giant pillars and big doors and all i have to do is jump off to get into the pvp here and i don't actually want to jump into the pvp because someone might actually kill me uh so i'm just gonna go and vanish here and fly and uh, fly around and show you guys that it. it looks so cool guys I am really happy with this PP arena you spawn in this tree here you can drop down to fight people uh, I think everything just fits together really well and it's all really cool looking and uh, hopefully these new features too will be really handy for you guys playing factions I guess we'll move on to the next warp let's go to warp help for a second this is a new warp created mostly by one of my friends Floam and uh, Uno as well as myself the basic premise of this warp is to basically teach people how to play factions there's a lot of things in factions that I didn't know and maybe some things that you didn't know either uh, so we made this little sort of factions warp to kind of help you guys out with some of the basics uh, like how to build a tunneling cannon how to build a corner cannon this is a corner hybrid cannon uh, how to build a Leon cannon or a 20 stacker cannon as well as a three stacker cannon things like how to protect your chests against creeper eggs and how to gen walls uh, just some basic stuff like that and also you know a good base design here with a bunch of walls and then there's a portal over here that will bring you back to spawn and lastly here we have the new warp nether which is kind of a cool castle um, I think it looks really awesome it sort of just adds some flair to the nether uh, as opposed to just having, you know, just a random spot on the nether that you start in. Uh, this is kind of a cool castle that we built. And uh, yeah, I think it looks really awesome. Also, one of the features we've added to it is this launch pad in the middle. That's going to launch you all the way up to the very top. And uh, this is the top of the nether. It's actually really, really dark. Let me turn my shader pack off really quick. So yeah, this brings you to the top of the nether. I know a lot of people could get to the top anyway. Uh, so we thought to make it fair for all players, I guess, just make kind of a way to get up here uh, right off the bat. Because uh, I know a lot of people really wanted a way to get up here, uh, but couldn't figure it out because of the anti-glitch protection and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah, we basically just added this to where you can just jump to the top. Put the shader pack back on here, and uh, yeah, it just looks really, really cool. As you can see, you just keep going up and down. It looks really cool, actually. You get a really good view of the whole nether for a second before it actually shoots you back up, uh, which is kind of cool. Wow, it looks really cool with shaders on. It's sort of a unique look with sort of the blue and the red. Um, but anyway, yeah, that is the last thing in factions. I'm going to go back to the hub now to sort of end this off. Uh, we do still have your normal game modes, uh, like Skyblock Warriors. I'll hop in there really quick. Uh, this is all still here. Uh, not a lot of people play Skyblock Warriors. I want to get back into playing it. I'm probably going to start a new series onto the channel playing skyblock warriors with some friends because i do really actually like this game mode uh, but yeah just letting you guys know that is all still here that basically concludes this update video i talked so fast and for so long about all these different things i hope you guys did enjoy mm.
Sorry, I need to drink really, really badly. I've been talking nonstop this whole time. Uh, I want to make this video not too long because there was a lot of things that we added. Um, but I didn't want you guys to have to wait through like a whole 20 minutes of me just yapping about all this stuff. So I tried to keep it as fast and concise as possible. Um, but yeah, those are all the new updates to Zincbox. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys will play on the server. I'm so hyped for this, guys. There will be a new episode of Factions coming out tomorrow, aka on Friday. If this video comes out late, uh, maybe the uh, Factions episode will come out on Saturday. I'm not sure. But I'm going to try and edit this and put it up as fast as I possibly can. And uh, yeah, with that, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you all a little bit later for my first episode of Factions. Peace.